You want to build muscle, but I see so many guys and ladies who want to get swole, unlike Billy Joel, eating way too much protein, and it's holding you back. Welcome to the video. My name is Trevor Lomax. I'm a registered dietitian who has worked with hundreds of guys and ladies who want to get swole. You've probably heard the old adage about eating one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And it's not the worst advice I've heard about protein, but there's so much more depth to it that we need to explore before we just start slamming protein shakes after our workout and in the middle of night to stay anabolic. Protein, it's the basis for muscles, yes, but it does so much more. It's also important for strong bones, a well-functioning immune system, building hormones, and so much more. Protein works in nearly every process in our body in some manner. The problem I see is too much emphasis on protein and not enough on the other macronutrients. Let's dive into protein needs first and then we'll talk about the other macronutrients really quick at the end. So how much protein do we really need? Well, if we're in a building phase where we're trying to gain muscle, we need 1.6 to 2.0 grams per kilogram of body weight. And that word kilogram is super important. And if you're wondering, these are the recommendations that sports dietitians working with the highest level strength and power athletes are using in practice. This isn't a recommendation from that guy poking himself with steroids in the men's bathroom at your local gym. So if we were to relate this to pounds instead of kilograms, America, we're looking at 0.73 to 0.91 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. It doesn't roll off the tongue quite like one gram per pound of body weight does, does it? So why are we okay with a lower protein intake when we're gaining? It's because building muscle is an endergonic process, meaning it takes extra energy to go through the pathways that our body uses to put those proteins together in our muscle cells as contractile units. So yes, we need more protein than someone who's sitting on the couch all day ripping video games, but it's really not this extreme amount. And one of the main downfalls of consuming too much protein is how filling it is. Protein is very satiating, meaning it makes you feel really full. And if you're losing weight or in a cutting phase, we're looking for more of that. But when gaining is your goal, we want to be able to consume enough total calories in a day so that we can allow our body to go through those endergonic processes. Keeping our protein at a reasonable level will give us enough amino acids to be able to build muscle, but will also allow enough room in our actual stomach to be able to consume enough calories in the day to be able to make those gains. So yes, slam a protein shake after your workout if it makes you feel nice and juicy, but please, for God's sake, consume some carbohydrates with it. And if you wanna maximize your gains, go check out this video. I made about three changes that you can make to improve your gains this week. If you found value in this video, please destroy that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and thanks for watching the video. I'll see you soon.